I'm creating this video for those of you who are taking EDAP 689 uh, as a distance education course. I'm your instructor, Stephen Swan. Um, you'll be hearing my voice a lot. And I wanted to show you, if you've never taken an online course through U of L, uh, how it works and the process. Now, the good news for you is um, you may engage in this course in multiple ways. You can take the course um, in synchronous mode, meaning you're there with us during the day, which will be from 9 to 5. Um, yes, I've changed the starting time because that's silly to expect it to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and you can be there at the same time as, as the people who are taking the class. This is known as a blended class in the world of online learning. Um, or you have the luxury of sitting back, relaxing, and viewing the class in your space, on your time, um, through the fact that we'll be videoing the class. Uh, we use a, a tool called Collaborate to do that. I'm going to show you uh, how it works. There is a video that is in your Blackboard space. Uh, the Blackboard space will be the place where everything starts from. So let me show you how it works and then what you can expect. So if you're in Blackboard, you will always start here. And basically, this is an introduction to what PLN means. Uh, it talks a little bit about our class. Um, and I think it's been duplicated, so I'm going to have to clean that up, but that's no big deal. Um, but then down here at the bottom, there's a link that says Course Documents. There is also links over here on the left-hand side, and as I've said to you in a previous email that I've sent out, um, we'll be using the course modules. Sorry about that. I had to deal with a barking dog. You will be coming in to join the class in synchronous mode by coming here first. You will go to Collaborate Sessions. You will click on that link. I would like for you to watch this video. I'm not going to play it now. But I would like you to watch this video so you can understand a little bit about Collaborate and how it works. This is the link that will take you to our course. I'm going to click on it. And what you have to realize is It'll always say join room. And you can join the room an hour before class starts. It, for the first time you do it, it's going to basically tell you it can't find the little app. On the Windows side, it's called join.collab, join collab. On the Mac side, it's called meeting.collab you will have to download that to your computer and then launch it. Collaborate is not a part of Blackboard. It is a separate entity. It just uses the Blackboard space as its launch pad. But once you start Collaborate, it actually takes you to someplace altogether different. Um, it's actually called Illuminate is the name of the company. And Blackboard, now well, Pearson's actually, bought the Illuminate. So I'm going to say, okay, once I get to this point where it basically knows that I have an, an app to open up Collaborate, I'll say okay. And then it will start again. Now, understand if you are on a PC, um, you have just started a Java app. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to use Java? Now, this takes a while, so be patient. You'll see a little box that will pop up, and it'll say, you are using the Java app, such and such and such and such. Are you sure? And you want to click Run. Now, if you're on a Mac, the same thing is going to happen. Java is unfortunately 
a known carrier of viruses. And once it finally gets loaded, it will come up to the following screen. Now, once you are in this screen, what you want to do is you want to run through the various tool setups that it has. So like the first one up here says Audio Setup Wizard. It's the one right in the middle. The one to the left of that is if you're going to use a telephone, which you're not. This is your Audio Setup Wizard, and there's the options. Well, all you're wanting to do is to make sure that your computer is set up so that A, you can hear, and B, you can send audio if you need to. So, I'm not going to go through all that. You can. It's very simple. You just basically walk through. You record your voice uh, to make sure that your microphone is working. One of the other things that I must stress with you is please, please, please wear headphones. Uh, it will create a very nice environment for you so that you can hear us clearly. Although, as you can tell from this recording, I have a pretty good voice for this. You will also not have to worry about any kind of feedback that uh, sometimes you'll get from older computers when the computer speaker is picking up the sounds um, from the Collaborate and trying to feed it back through your microphone. That can get kind of nasty. So please, please, please. Wear simple headphones. You know, little earbuds will be fine. You don't need to have great big cans on your head or anything like that. Just simple headphones that plug in. And there's always a jack on every computer I've ever seen that has a place for you to plug those headphones in. This will be the space where things will happen. Normally what happens is, on my end, I will have already up and running the space so that when you come in, you'll see it like this. And so as you can see, I'm sharing the desktop. And then over here, this collaborate window, I can either tear them off or I can get rid of them. Or what I normally do is I minimize everything except for the chat room. You will use chat primarily as a way of talking. If no one is responding to your chat, then you're going to use your microphone. And you're going to essentially click on where it says talk here. And you will click on that and then you will talk. And then your voice will come through uh, the room where we'll be in. And of course, we'll hear you. A lot of times you will be invited by me to talk. In other words, I'll say, so let's see if so-and-so understands what we just did. So you, you'll get that, and then we'll expect you to talk to us. Okay, I think I've got this um, as simple as I can for you. As you see, when I want to leave, I just close out the uh, Collaborate window. And it says, OK. Um, and it throws me back here to the room. Now, here's the other good news for those of you who want to do this in asynchronous mode, meaning it is on your time in your space when you want to participate in the class. To do that, I will have a link over here that will be all of the class recordings. There it is. Now, these are the old class recordings, as you can see, from last summer. But I just wanted you to see what they look like. Um, and the way you then would engage with this is you would basically just click on the link. Well, sorry, they've removed it. <laughs> I guess it's been too long. Uh, you would click on that link, and it would play the recording for you. You can move through the recording with your mouse, um, or you can sit and watch the whole thing. Realize it's going to be as long as class is. Now, our class, as you've heard from the previous email, um, is going to be a very much project-based learning-based class. And so, therefore, when I finish talking, 
which will not last very long. We will go through the particular tool or tools that we will be using that day and how then we then will make those tools a part of our wiki spaces and then the rest of the time will be spent by the class building this particular um, project for the day. So, but I will keep the recording running all through it until everybody has left the class. So you might have to be a little judicious in sliding the slider around. Uh, I will try to duplicate on the screen and answer on the screen every qu class question concern that comes up, including yours, um, if you have one. All right. So, as I said, if you are joining us in synchronous mode, you will go here where it says collaborate sessions. I don't know why Blackboard's running so slow today, but it sure is. You will come down to where the link is, and the first time you do this, it's going to basically walk you through a download of the Collaborate uh, app, which I have said to you will be called on the Mac side, meeting.colab. On the Windows side, it's called join.colab. Once you download it, it will all do, it will do this all in one process. The next time you come in and need to join the class and you click on this link and you click on where it says join room, because you've already downloaded the app, it'll automatically start up. But realize that every time it starts up, it may go through, depending upon the security settings, it may go through this startup where it has to say hey you're running a java app are you sure you'll have to click run um, my settings that i have on this computer have essentially been set so that it recognizes what collaborate is in other words it's trusted and it will then um, just launch it as you can see that it's doing right now but please notice please 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 notice this has not happened quickly and so one of the things that you have to make sure you do is you need to, if you're going to be there in synchronous time, you have to come in earlier than the 9 o'clock start of class uh, just so you can make a jump through all these hoops. And I'm sitting on a fairly fast internet connection. So um, if you are sitting on a slower connection, please don't try this over Wi-Fi unless your Wi-Fi is really, really good, um, because uh, we find that Wi-Fi and Collaborate don't get along. Also remember to use headphones. Please, use headphones. Um, otherwise, you'll get feedback. You won't be able to hear very well. Um, it's also a way to kind of focus on what you're doing. All right. You will be receiving an email with another video that will be the first day of class, since we can't be there physically on the first day of class. So look forward to that email. I will talk to all of you again.